G'day everyone, welcome to Open Mills. Today's video is just a uh, update on the test treat from the last parcel of Matrix I bought up at Anamuka. Uh, I wanted to see how it treats. Oh, check it out. Um, before I made it available, just so I knew that you'd end up with a decent result. That's not going to change anything on what I'd charge as price. I just had a bit of fun treating it. <laughs> Bit of fun, that was awesome. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'll go through this, uh, correlate it to some bits that I haven't treated or just took a few test bits from a few different bits and um, yeah, I'll make that available. A uh, Couple of things about some of the rocks I haven't cut up yet, I'll, since I've got to go back to Andamuka um, and do what I didn't get to last time, which is side all these uh, uh, parcels that I've lined up and see what I can buy and what I can line up for anyone else. So um, I won't get to cut up the rest of what I have here. And if anyone's interested, I'll show in a bit um, some of the pieces left and what they should look like once dealt with. And uh, if anyone just wants to buy them as is um, before I slice them up and break them down a bit. So anyway, uh, another thing, um, my Andamuka trip's basically been extended. <laughs> Even though I'm back in Adelaide at the moment, I've got to head back up there, pick up my car, and as I said, sight some parcels and see what I can get. But uh, I didn't get to do it last time, so it's kind of extended, and I did say I'm going to do a, an appreciation thank you giveaway. Um, still organising. I'm wanting to put together some parcels and some matrix, some crystal, uh, whatever I can get my hands on, and put some parcels together, and that way... However I run the giveaway, you might get a selection of what you'd actually like to walk away with rather than me just dictate here's that and here's that and then you just get what you're given. <laughs> so I'll, yeah, going to put a few things together and make it really cool hopefully, but we'll um, know more once I get back from my next trip. Sorry about the delay, we're already up to f over 400 and, uh, 540, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, I've got to get onto it really quick. So that'll be done definitely by next week. I did say this week, um, I'm stuck for time at the moment. So much going on and nonetheless, I will do it. There's no problem there. So anyway, on with this video and um, I'll save that for another video, but just gonna go through some of these bits. So some of the chips I'll go through first cause they turned out really nice. A lot of this was uh, kind of whitish, um, brownish, depending on which bits and a bit of a varied result so that one came out really nice and oh other thing i better mention is this is a test treat so to test treat it and get this done before i have to nick off again i did a two day sugar soak and about a day and a half it amounted to in the acid so this isn't a full treat either um whether i'd get a better result or not um proofs in the pudding we'll find out but for now that's at least given me a sign that A, it treats, and the colour's there. So even as is, it's still, you know, quite nice. And as I said, I'm not going to price it on what I can see now. I'm going to still price the rough as is, but, yeah, I'm not going to up the price all of a sudden. Some of this didn't treat too well, so I might need a bit of a cut just to reveal where the colour is, one side or the other is nice. Bit of opal in the middle there, hopefully somewhere it clears up. Bit of pin fire. Um, did that bit. It looks like an end bit off of a side of a rock that came down and someone's taken the top slice or something. Anyway, it left that bit behind under there. So that came up really nice. Some of this I'll be cutting myself too, by the way. <laughs> um, I'll show you the bits that I'll be making available. This one just had a little bit of opal there. Um, it was quite white, or paler colour anyway. So that's actually treated quite well. I'm sure I can get it a bit darker with a bit longer. It just needs to be cut first and polished. Ready. Um, that's the bit I've been flashing the whole time. Turned out gorgeous. Again, that was white, palish, cream maybe. Yeah. So that's another sort of end slice wedge. 
cut around a few bits I'd say. So these are sort of off cuts, but still awesome looking stones to be had. So those are little chips. Here was the one I, uh, I gave it a bit of a shape. I didn't polish it or anything. I just, yeah, took it down a bit to the color. So it didn't turn out too bad. It's not super bright, this piece. Um, but still nice pinfire color, very dark. That was good. I'm not sure if that'll maybe show up a bit better once it's cut and polished properly and then once treated, repolished. So I haven't done anything to that, it's just straight out of the acid and into the bicarb here, neutralizing it. So, uh, where are we? There's these two bits I sliced up. It's the banded rock. Um, didn't really do too much. Didn't bring out the colour much more, so I don't hold high hopes for a valuable stone out of this stuff, but a bit of fun if someone wants to play with the other bigger bit that's left over. Um, can't find it right now, but it's here somewhere. And what else we got? Oh, the blue bits. I like these bits. So these were the white pieces that had a bit of blue in them. Or very light pieces of cover if they're white. I have to look back at the video. Last video. But came out really nice with that one. Now I can get it to go green at the right angle. And it really shows up like a, a friend described it, peacock green. It's way more intense than what's showing on this camera. Very deep green, deep sea green. So yeah, there's a little stone in there to be had. Should be able to get that out, not a problem. And that was the other piece. It didn't really... It's still got some nice color in it. Be a nice little pendant or something. Um, these are the pieces off of the uh, piece I've been given to see what it'll treat like whether there's any colour in it and so the colour's a little bit far in between I'd have to bring that down to the bar properly retreat that <coughs> excuse me and uh, not sure if it'll really come up much better than that anyway I'll have to put it on the wheel just take it down a bit uh, but I know there's colour in it so this bit came up with a bit but not super visible but it is there, so maybe if I go into the rock a bit further, I'll find a bit more colour, a bit stronger colour. Which would be good. This is very porous, so I'm not sure how this one would even polish up, to be honest. This may be one of those ones that needs to be sealed. But uh, we'll get to that. Um, some of this stuff, there's the rock I sliced up into slices. And this is one of the pieces I tried to treat. Sort of took on the edges a fair bit, but the middle, not so much. Penetration there with the sugars. Yes, a bit the top layer. Remember, it went very dark. Um, there is some slight colour in amongst it. Um, not sure if they'll go a lot darker with a full treat or how much, but um, still an interesting. Looks like a like a timber tree type pattern wood grain so it's kind of an interesting stone on its own so even if I deal with that uh, rather than pass it on unless anyone's interested in it so this is some slice bits that are uh, pulled out and try to treat one of just to see what it will do didn't hold much hope for it didn't seem to have too much strong color it already came sliced up so there's not much I could do about the shapes but just to see if there was any colour worth cutting. It's a nice interesting stain I might let someone else play with. Um, this is the piece I think Victor was interested in. Um, here's the other portion to it. It was off the end of a rock. And these were like that and the rest of the rock was out here. I've got that in treating at the moment. Um, a mining partner we just wanted to treat the whole rock and see what it looked like. So, <laughs> so that's what we're doing. So I took this slice off the end first, um, which left 
this piece that was already sliced off. Uh, that's how I got it. So it had that pattern. And so it's kind of come up. It's salt and pepper. Uh, again, whether it will treat a lot more if I'd left it in a lot longer and done the full treat, I don't know, but it does treat up. Um, it's not super strong color, but it's a nice pattern. Nice color. And maybe it will treat up a bit better after. We'll see what happens. Um, then I had these bits. And I cut them into three uh, from the big bits if from the last video. So it sort of had a bit of colour in it. You can sort of see the pin fiery coloration and once treated it came up awesome so it really went from that to that and again I'm sure if I treat it longer and did the whole process properly it will go a lot better so nonetheless I can see that it will treat and how I can think about working with them Anyway, again, just a test treat at the moment. Um, a couple of bits here, I think, so the only bits left. Yep. Yeah, now I looked at them. So these were the end cuts off of this rock. And this piece came off of there. And it sort of treated up kind of nicely. Again, maybe I should have done it for the full treat longer. But it does has, have a fair bit of colour throughout it. So, the other end. Um, actually, no, this must be off the other rock. That, uh... The other end is, oh, that's right. So yeah, I took that one off that end, took that off that end, and the bit in the middle, that's in treating at the moment, or well, soaking in sugar. So that's what that one treats up like. Had a mild treat at that. So there's some nice color in there, pin fire. And yeah, and that bit. So yeah, anyway, interesting variety of matrix here. Um, I'll have to start making up some parcels and list them so you can all have a look and see if anyone's interested in any. So for now, I'm gonna end this video here. I've actually recorded more than this and I'm gonna do the whole thing on Facebook. It's just that some of it's, um, uh, yeah, if I leave it up, I'll get messages for years to come. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to end this video here with this lot and uh, leave you with the image I started with. There we go. Um, yeah, check out the Facebook. I'll post up this full video there um, if it's still up and you're watching this, that is. Otherwise, thank for, thanks, thanks for watching. <laughs> Cheers.